I'm meteorologist Carly Gomez. It is March 21st. We had quite the active evening for those thunderstorms and storms really across most of California. Now, earlier today, we had two low pressure systems and they did something like a little bit of a dance, you'd call it. Uh, Fujiwara effect is named after a meteorologist in Japan who coined the term as two low pressure systems kind of do this little dance around each other. This is pretty typical with cyclones and tropical systems. Now, what we're dealing with is two low pressure systems that have been doing a dance with each other since the morning hours of Tuesday into the early afternoon. And by the evening, one of those lows finally gets absorbed by the other, creating a bigger low pressure system. And this actually hit the coastline very intense, flooding areas of Santa Cruz. They had a lot of destruction in the area as well as that flooding for many parts of farmland moving in toward the South Bay. The low pressure system here really affected most of the valley as well at those strong wind gusts as well as lightning, hail, flooding and downpours. This is quite the system. Now we did get a lot happening across the area, including this. Yeah, that's my hand. Uh, pea sized hail in downtown Sacramento. As the system pushed through, we saw a line of lightning strikes and thunderstorms and those thunderstorms created a solid line from areas around Yuba City over toward Clear Lake all the way down and wrapping down into areas of Modesto is a pretty large sized thunderstorm line. Now we also saw your videos and your photos that you submitted. Take a look at this one here. We got a video from across the region. This one, Desiree shot this in Woodland of thunderstorms producing hail on her back patio. You just see a lot of that coming down there. And then this one here, this is Daniel in Dixon with hail on his drive. You can hear that pounding on the windshield. And in Natomas, Ernest, he sent this one in. Smaller pieces of hail, a little smaller than those pea-sized ones you saw earlier, that look like these little pellets. And you can see it on his outdoor rug here. Now, it also started to hail into his pool, and you can see those kind of dropping in that zone as well. All right, now as we take a look at this, this is what we saw earlier today. The rotation of low making its way on shore and from space, this actually looked somewhat like a hurricane hitting the coastline and those winds, those intense winds actually did reach gusts that would have been hurricane strength areas of the Santa Cruz mountains. We saw about 82 mile per hour gusts, 75 mile per hour gusts in Mount Diablo. Now, as you take a look here at that rotation kind of circular motion there, we created with that low a line of thunderstorms. You can see it right there that pushes all the way up and over and those isolated thunderstorm lines there from Modesto all the way up past Sacramento, Citrus Heights, Roseville into Yuba City and then eventually making its way up toward Clear Lake and rounding itself out. They finally began to dissipate as we lost more of that heat and moisture by the evening hours. So a lot of that instability as we started seeing the sunset kind of mellowed things out when it came to the system. But as we continued to see those thunderstorms this evening, we saw a lot of lightning strikes and damage as well as those power outages across not just the Sacramento area, but many areas that dealt with those strong wind gusts. All right, let's take a look at what we also saw at 430. We saw some early detection rotation passing areas of woodland, and we do know that the woodland area saw some down power lines, including a lot of those wind gusts affecting a gas station nearby. The roof of that gas station looked a little bit tattered, and we saw a lot of hail pushing from Davis to Woodland all the way up and over toward Williams, Clear Lake, and Yuba City. Along 80 earlier in the evening, we did see the Fairfield Vacaville area get hit pretty hard with hail as well. And then some small early detection rotations. That doesn't mean we necessarily saw a tornado, but what that could mean though is there was enough motion and enough wind movement in the sky that we could have seen and we did get reports of potential for funnel clouds. And when we see some funnel clouds, even the rotation of them, we get these early detections. Now they aren't a tornado until they officially hit the ground. We do not have any current reports of any tornadic activity as of the taping of this uh, video for you. Let's take a look at the peak wind gusts today. And I want you to know that these peak wind gusts were just the major stations. That doesn't include some of the other outliers that reach 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. 38 in Sacramento, almost 50 in Stockton, 39 Modesto, and as previously mentioned, 
We did see areas like Mount Diablo with 75 mile per hour wind gusts, the Santa Cruz Mountains at 82 miles per hour, and then even some of the inland areas here, I know China Gulch, they saw some of those wind gusts over 50 miles per hour, reaching 60 for some places in between. So a lot of that purple zone there that doesn't come up with the number, we did often see those numbers anywhere from 50 to 60 miles per hour. Now, as we take a look at what we can expect moving into Wednesday in the midweek and toward the weekend, what we're seeing is we're finally looking at the system kind of uh, uh, just dying out a bit. 5 a.m., we still have a few spotted showers lingering in the area. And finally, getting closer toward mid-morning lunchtime, the clouds begin to break up a bit. We still have a few more scattered snow showers for the high elevation spots, but most of the uh, heavier snow is going to be gone at this point in time by Wednesday afternoon. Finally, we get some clearing moving into Thursday, partly sunny skies, maybe a few more, maybe lingering snow showers up high Thursday early morning, but otherwise we are pretty dry for the valley areas. And then moving toward the weekend, we're going to get more sunshine. I know it's spring, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you're seeing these three days in the weekend, mostly sunny, although Sunday, if you are headed toward the Sierra, we could begin seeing our first look at some potential for snow showers. Finally, moving toward next week, you're actually seeing more rain back in the forecast Tuesday and Wednesday, but Tuesday and Wednesday, that could be a very similar outcome to what we dealt with today.